Hey, welcome back to Guns Up Review. We're back on Project Ratty Buggy. We're uh, working on our bad boy buggy, almost ready for hunting season. We got it cleaned up, we got our tires fixed, we got all new seats, uh, got new batteries ordered. They're supposed to be here in mm, two days. So today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start tackling the electrical system. We're looking for places where the rats have chewed the wires in half, plus we've got a bunch of battery cables that you can hear it. <laughs> There's so many cracks in the cables that uh, it is dangerous. So we're gonna have to replace all these. So we're gonna we're gonna look at the electrical system. We're gonna put it back together. We're gonna get it ready for our batteries to go in on Friday. So hang with me, and uh, we'll see if we can get her fixed up. Okay, so step one, I'm gonna pull this front seat back off here and let's look under here. This is where the real action is. All right, before I get all these batteries removed and take everything out of here, I just wanna fix all the, the small gauge wires that I can so that I kind of know where all this goes when I put it back together. I've never worked on a golf cart before. But uh, some of these wires, like this black wire here, which looks like a 12 volt wire, it's kind of small. Um, it's chewed in half. The, the end off this white wire is kind of chewed up. All of the uh, insulation off of this yellow wire here is chewed all the way down. Uh, bad terminal wires, terminal wires, uh, let's see, that doesn't look too bad, although there are bite marks on the wires, I don't see anything over there that's chewed in half, and here, so here's a closer look at what's going on, you can see that this is chewed here, this is chewed all the way in half, and it goes to this negative terminal over here. Okay, so a ring, a ring term, terminal there. And then this yellow wire here, as you can see, is chewed all the way down the length of this wire. Even down here, it's chewed off. Something magical to the rats about yellow wire that he liked. Um, and then on, on this side, we have some places where it's chewed through the, the insulation, like here and like this, um, but it's not into, it's just on the sheath, it's not into the wire itself. And this has the 12 volt wires on here that come back to here, okay? So I think that, I think that'll be okay. I just need to replace those ends. And then of course, all of this, all of the voltage stuff, the heavy duty stuff, the 48 volt wires there, every single battery wire is uh, chewed and then just dry rotted, basic dry rotted. So that's what we gotta fix. All right, so the next step, I'm gonna go ahead and remove these, these hold downs for the batteries and try and get these six batteries, one, two, three, four, five, six. I already got the two side batteries out and I'm gonna go ahead and take this back plate off here and see what's hiding under there as well. So let me get that taken off. Okay, if you're following along at home, that red and green wire there go to the positive battery terminal on that last battery. And these appear to be the motor controllers. You've got one for the front motor and one for the rear motor. And if you were wondering, golf cart batteries are extremely heavy. So here's where our compartment looks like after a pack rat's been in here. There were salt and pepper shakers, pens, pencils, little kids, toys, pieces of wood. Pack rat had all kinds of stuff in here. So my next mission is to clean up all these wires back here, clean off those controllers and uh, put all that back together. 
Okay, so here's what I figured out on the motor controller. The rats ate the motor controller wires. And so this each one of these has seven wires that go actually to the cart. The motor controller has more wires than that. But uh, one of them, the rats did not eat the plug, the uh, male plug off that comes from the motor control. They didn't, eat, they didn't touch that one. Uh, and so I'm going to be able to use this, this uh, connector here. And I'm just going to splice onto the wires that are remaining here and then uh, have a little extension that will get over to the wiring harness. And then on the other one, they ate the plug off and they ate it so close to this, these uh, weather type connectors here that I can't splice the wires on. So what I'm going to do on that one is I'm just going to hardwire it. I'm just going to wire it straight, the controller straight into the, um, the uh, harness. And that way... It won't have a quick connector, so if I ever have to replace it or something, I'll just have to cut the wires and re-splice it, which is a little bit more of a pain, but, you know, it should work just fine. So, next step is splice these wires, and I've got uh, some new wire here to splice it to to extend these wires. So, here we go. Okay, I'm headed over to Texas Battery to get these fixed. These cables are no good, so... Between the uh, dry rot and the rats chewing through them, I got to have basically all of the high voltage cables. And everybody I talked to in town said, don't rebuild a bad boy buggy, whatever you do. You're silly if you rebuild one. That's the worst thing ever. Don't build it. Let's sell you a used buggy, okay? Everybody wants to sell me a used two-wheel drive cart for like $2,900, $3,000. They're like, don't rebuild it. It's the worst cart ever. Maybe it's the dumbest thing ever to rebuild it. But hey, anybody can go buy a new one. What's the fun in that? Let's rebuild this one, okay? It's just parts after all, right? Let's go get some new uh, cables. <laughs> all right we're going to show you how to build a battery cable if you're in west texas and you need one built there you go okay so you better come to texas battery if you're in west texas to have one built down there. There you go. I think you've done that before. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so here's an intermittent shot of the progress. You can see you've got to have a lot of stuff here to get this done. You got your uh, wire connectors and ring terminals. Got all new uh, cables made up there, uh, as you saw. And then on the ground, there's wire everywhere. There's wire pieces over here, over there. Um, more wires over here. And then, of course, my repair, hey, look, all that's back together again and nicely wrapped. Uh, we got uh, some repairs down here. And uh, this is all clean and put back together. Got to put those wires back on. And then finally, I've still got to do uh, these wires here coming through the frame and the ones 
under the front of the buggy. So let's finish this up. All right, we're going to end this episode of Project Ready Buddy Buggy right here. And let me show you what we've got done. I've got all the wires back in place. I'm ready for the battery. So in the next episode, we're going to put brand new batteries in here. We're going to hook it up. We're going to turn the switch. We're going to see if it catches on fire and burns to the ground or if it'll move out of its track. So let me show you what I got done. All right, so I just need some zip ties on this, but everything is back in place and hooked up. The only cables, these guys here, that are left that aren't hooked up actually go to a battery. So once the batteries are in there, those will hook up. I'm pretty sure that that green wire right there is the power switch for a backup beeper, which this does not have. So that is disconnected. That's the only wires I couldn't figure out where they went were these two wires coming out of the uh, reverse solenoid here and they go down to the front and then they dead in and there's nothing to hook to. The wires were chewed in half, but I couldn't find anything that they were hooked to. And then in the back, back here where our motor controller sit, we got both of those all rewired, all hooked back up and uh, kind of cleaned up. Uh, new cables for the ones that were chewed up. Uh, the main power cable that goes to this back motor replaced. And uh, anyway, we're ready for some new batteries. So, so join us back here next time on Guns Up Review. We'll get the batteries back in Ratty Buggy and we'll see if we can go down the road. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.